Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to episode three of uh, uh, The Focus. The focus of the uh, the show this week uh, is obviously video recruitment, but the primary focus of uh, uh, the, uh, the, the the show this week is uh, is Monster Studios. Uh, we have our very special guest here, uh, Alex Kavork. Can I just d- double check that I'm pronouncing your surname correctly? Uh, yeah, it's pronounced a few different ways, but uh, uh, Kevork, almost like Kevin. But okay, Kevor. Yeah, Kevor. Perfect. Yep. Uh, uh, well, uh, in that case, you're very, very welcome. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, we were also hoping uh, and still hoping to uh, to have my colleague uh, uh, Kristen Graham uh, join us. Uh, Kristen is actually in the same building as uh, as Alex right now, but uh, the Wi-Fi is not entirely cooperating. But we'll be absolutely fine. Uh, before we go on to, uh, to to talk in more detail with uh, uh, Alex, uh, let me just uh, have a quick recap on last week. So last week we spoke with uh, uh, Pi Recruitment, uh, Pi, Re- Pi Recruitment, are a small recruitment agency in uh, in London in the UK, and Pi from their very beginning have been using video to differentiate themselves and to show. Uh, how they can be uh, different and still compete with much larger brands uh, in the sectors that they cover. So uh, uh, we had a great time last week uh, uh, with uh, with the ladies from Pi, uh, and we also spoke about uh, some of the uh, some of the the, the, the setup uh, uh, procedures that you would go through in in a deciding that yes you're going to be using video and recruitment, uh, b what's your purpose, what's it going to be for, how do you do it. Uh, and uh, and some of the technical issues that you need to consider. Uh, so last week's show was uh, was fantastic. As I say, uh, this week's show we have uh, live from Boston, uh, Alex Kibork, uh, and uh, uh, Alex is uh, a VP of uh, uh, product marketing. Is that correct, Alex? Uh, yes, I actually I manage two arms of the marketing department here: product marketing, and then also our employer marketing. So a lot of our demand gen and. And essentially, how we take the values that we build in product marketing and yeah. then deliver yeah. those to the employers who, uh, who advertise with us. Fantastic! I, I, I must say that I've been watching, uh, not as if I'm the person to do it, but because everyone else would be. But I've been watching Monster's growth from the very beginning. Monster literally invented job boards uh, at the very, very beginning of the internet, and uh, uh, jobs and job boards and uh, and looking for careers certainly certainly in in the bulk of the first 15 20 years of the internet was probably the second most uh, uh, busy uh, uh, topic on the internet we shan't go into the first uh, but along with the first actually uh, developed and wrote the book on how the internet would be shaped and formed uh, and so on and so from the very earliest days of, of of job boards deciding, right, we're going to be advertising vacancies online. We're going to lay them out in this way. We're going to make them searchable. We're going to make it so that, uh, you know, candidates can find, identify and apply for vacancies and that employers and recruitment firms can advertise those jobs. Uh, the, The very thing that we're looking at now has been strongly influenced, heavily influenced by how uh, Monster wrote the rule book in the first place, uh, and uh, uh, you know, c- continuing in that line uh, is obviously uh, you know innovation down the line. Uh, now, all job boards worldwide have had ups and downs, uh, and uh, and uh, everyone's always competing for uh, innovation. Uh, but being at the very start, I think, gives you a big gold star from a, from an innovation point of view in the first place. Uh, so, how, uh, how do you how do you look back on the the history of Monster as a uh, as a, a player in the sector? Uh, so everything you stated is true, and we're extremely lucky to have a brand, a, a brand foundation to, yeah. to build our innovation off of. Uh, we started in 1994. We were mm-hmm. the 454th URL ever registered, not just as yeah. a job board, but the 454th URL. That gives you an idea of yeah. uh, how early we were in this. Uh, mm-hmm. And you know, the founder of Monster had a great idea, Jeff Taylor, uh, yeah. about making searching for a job exponentially easier. He put all the mm-hmm. jobs into a searchable database, right? It was yeah. to help people. If you think back to the world before Monster, finding a job was an absolute nightmare. People Mm -hmm. had to look at newspapers to find opportunities, and his idea worked because it took an actual need that people had. People really had a problem trying to find jobs that made their lives better, Uh, and he he matched that with the emerging emerging technology of the day, the web. So, uh, you know, we forever changed the way the vast majority of people around the world found jobs, and in that process, we've been you know, we took the biggest source of revenue for newspapers and hastened the demise of that once amazing industry that was too big to fail. Yeah. Uh, but the real reason we were successful was because we're making the lives of people better. We fought for the people. We fought for them over money or institutions. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we built one of the strongest global brands in the category behind mm -hmm. that very simple idea of doing better by people. Yeah. So things have changed, things have evolved. And you know, you mentioned we wrote the book, we did, but that book today, even 25 years later, pretty much reads the same. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the solutions that we've seen pop up in the industry overall uh, look more similar than they should. Yeah. Companies post jobs and candidates apply for them, right? Yeah. So our, our vision is to really transform that and mm -hmm. get back to our roots yeah. of helping people and fixing a broken system again. I, I, I used to run a website in uh, 2000. I set up a website called alljobsuk.com, which was, was basically a, 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 a signpost to every recruitment website in the UK and all the job boards and all the employers and agencies and so on. Uh, and every week we'd mo we would monitor the, the volume of vacancies posted on each of the, the top 10 uh, job boards. Uh, and I should also point out, we call them job boards because Monster was in a originally the Monster board. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's, that's where that comes from. Uh, but again, in, in, in monitoring the, the volume of vacancies ebb and flow as the, uh, as the markets went through and you would see seasonal shifts and so on. New companies, new organizations came in. There, was, there, there have been all sorts of mergers and takeovers and so on. But uh, Monster has, has, has remained and endured in, in all that time. Uh, and uh, so what, what we're largely here to talk about is a way in which Monster is uh, literally changing uh, how we would perceive uh, standard job adverts. Uh, for, for 300 years before the internet, we had adverts in newspapers. It was white mm -hmm. text, black text on a white screen. Uh, and, uh, and what we're looking to do now is to, uh, to, to evolve that to match the technology that, uh, that everybody has in their pocket. So that uh, in, in looking at uh, a vacancy, you're not just uh, looking at a small screen and zooming in to read uh, uh, lots of text but you're actually getting a, a direct message from the employer. So Monster Studios, uh, can, you, can you tell us a bit more about Monster Studios and the evolution of how that's come about? Sure. I mean, you know, just coming back to our vision here, it's, we're really focused on transforming the way that employers and candidates find the right fit. And there's so much opportunity to help them do that. But the I thing is, the right fit means more than a simple job description with skills and requirements or a simple resume with a bunch of bullet points, right? Um, so there is a need in the marketplace to evolve that job description and to give candidates and employers a better way to see each other. And video is, is the obvious first step in doing that. So yeah. we released Monster Studios um, in to give employers the ability to easily do that, right? It's not the reason uh, this this market in this industry is uh, so primitive in many ways is that the technology doesn't enable them to to be more innovative, and that's where we're yeah. trying to step in and say, uh, give people an easy way to mm -hmm. and I'll, an easy way to tactically do it, but also to help them mm -hmm. understand the value of it and how important it is to express. Yeah. your employer brand employer branding is, is something we're all about here at monster yeah. because you know it's a very tight labor market right now and the only way to differentiate and stand out is around employer branding Absolutely. video is a core component of yeah. employer branding obviously that's how you can get your brand across to the camera absolutely so in, in case anyone hasn't guessed on a show that's all about video and recruitment uh, what we're talking about with monster studios is videos in in job adverts uh, videos is a core part of, uh, of, of, of job adverts and, and perhaps ultimately uh, every job advert will have a video where the employer, the advertiser uh, is able to directly express what this job, what this opportunity is about and, uh, and, and, and get across the information in a much more, not only persuasive, but a much more meaningful way so that candidates can more accurately self-select themselves for jobs. So you were saying before that uh, uh, the decisions made in those earliest days of Monster were all about what works for candidates. How is this a service to candidates? And if, if you're serving the candidates well, then you know the, the, the advertisers will follow. How does Monster Studios work from a, 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 an advantage point of view for those job seekers and candidates? What, is it, what does it give to candidates that they weren't getting before? Uh, so again, you know, candidates are attracted to employer brand. We've done research that even shows that uh, when a candidate has a strong affiliation or affinity, I'm sorry, to an organization that they're more apt to want to work there. Um, yeah. So what this gives them, it's, it's interesting. We built this for employers, right? It's a tool with which they can kind of show their yeah. authentic true selves, but it's for the candidate so that they yeah. can get a better view into that company. And, you know, 
uh, it's it's subjective of what a better view is from the candidate standpoint, but uh, being able to show more than a job description and more than bullet points and, and get yeah. them a clear understanding of who it is they'll be working for, what challenges they can hope to tackle. And really, as you said, self-select to say, hey, you know what, that's me. I could see myself yeah. in that role. And, um, you know, we've seen a lot of great response from the candidates themselves. It's refreshing. It's informational. Uh, mm-hmm. And you know, the, the, as I mentioned, we've done other research, uh, yeah. but the, they're they're attracted to these jobs that have videos, uh, mm-hmm. and it yeah. just it gives them a more fulfilling experience mm-hmm. in the job search. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, do you have uh, uh, statistics on the the uptick in terms of of applications for uh, for uh, those job video uh, uh, adverts, uh, or, or is it too early to uh, to, to read those stats? So, so it's interesting that, you know, the way we look at success is kind of different data points across the board. So Mm -hmm. uh, one way we look at it is engagement rates. So the people who are watching the videos uh, are actually watching them either most of the way through or all the way through. And they're, Mm -hmm. they're over two X industry standards uh, based on bright code research. Um, And some of the success is yes, around more applies, but absolutely employers can expect to see more visits, more views on those yeah. jobs. And we're, we're yeah. providing candidates an easier way to find those. Yeah. Uh, but the real core focus here needs to be on the quality of the candidate. It could ah. even be in less applies. You might get less applies, but a yeah. better candidate output on the other end. And so mm-hmm. those applies are going to be exponentially more valuable yeah. based uh, when those jobs have videos attached yeah. to them. So it's certainly what we've seen is that uh, well, with with standard text-based job adverts, uh, the return on uh, on on those adverts is to an extent diminishing, partly because candidates are, are able to apply for so many jobs so easily, uh, and when they look at a text-based job advert, uh, they they look at the the job title, location, salary, and they might skim some of the details, but they're not reading all of that because what tends to happen is on a job a job advert that's just text. Uh, there's no limit to the amount of text that you can put in. So employers and advertisers tend to put in an awful lot of text and it's not all being read. So candidates are skimming. And that then means that candidates are uh, applying for jobs where they don't know that they're a good, accurate fit. So if you were able to somehow dissuade uh, the inappropriate candidates and encourage the, the softer, more passive candidates who maybe weren't applying at all for text job adverts, then you're going to flip uh, the, uh, the the metrics on on the, the return on on investment in each advert. That's right, and and even the ability to uh, use video uh, outside of the particular job board ecosystem yeah. is going to help you capture those passive candidates. Where mm-hmm. where without video you wouldn't be able to do that. So so yeah. that's a good point on on capturing the passive candidates and capturing the people who who are really are very deliberate in their job search. And, yeah. uh, and again, that's not a volume play, that's a quality yeah. play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, statistics also show us that, that uh, video content, video job advert content is shared 12 times more uh, than uh, the, the content for uh, traditional text-based job adverts. So of course that then means that that's much more likely to come in front of those passive candidates who are not actively job seeking, but uh, people are going to be recommending and sharing it to them. It's going to come in front of them, whether it be on on, on any other channel uh, or shared directly to, uh, to to their email by right. colleagues. And and that makes sense, right? I mean, this is the consumer of today is accustomed, and they expect uh, engagement mediums that yeah. you know that they're used to. And our industry is primitive right now yeah. in that we're still so stuck in this in this text based environment. So. <laughs> providing video as a way to consume that information yeah. it's just a it's a no-brainer this is the way people consume information and so yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know you're not going to find people sharing uh, a text-based job description I think you know if my friends yeah. saw me sharing that they would kind of wonder what I was up to uh, yeah. but a, but a video would make yeah. a lot more sense and yeah. it would get a ton more engagement obviously. Yeah. What, one area we find that, that, that's crucial to remember is when, when recording videos for, uh, for, for job adverts, that uh, it's, it's a relatively solitary exercise. People don't look at, they don't look at job videos on the, uh, you know, in, in, on the TV at, with their family. Right. Uh, they're normally looking at one of these devices. Uh, they're watching it on their own. It's a relatively small screen, uh, but direct connection between the, 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 whether it be the hiring manager or the recruiter, if you're looking directly at 
the person that you're you're uh, uh, looking to hire, then you can engage with them in a way that, that you can't do before. Uh, and I understand as well that uh, uh, in uh, uh, in in Monster Studios, the uh, the teleprompter uh, is key to uh, to making sure that you've got that direct engagement. Because if you're recording uh, on your uh, your phone, you're looking at the teleprompter, you're looking directly at the person that you're looking to hire, and they feel that connection. They're going to appreciate that connection. Uh, agreed. I, I think you know a big part of the success of something like this is helping people ensure that they're creating a video, uh, both mm -hmm. from a from a visual standpoint, but also from a content standpoint. And the app is built to do that. Uh, it's we're asking people to step out of their comfort zone here a little bit. Yeah. I think you know the innovation in the industry is very attractive. I think people think video. Obviously, I should be doing this. Uh, yeah. This is this is the way the market's headed. I yeah. need to be doing this. But when it comes time to actually put yourself on camera, not everybody is a movie star. And so we are, you know, we've built as many resources as we can. But but in general, I mean, it takes practice and it takes mm -hmm. guidance. And so yeah. having that built into the technology to yeah. help you really portray yourself and your company as best you can is, is, yeah. is key in the success of this. Yeah. So in a lot of ways, a lot, but plenty of companies, employers, agencies, and so on have thought, yeah, it would be great to produce job video adverts. We can see all the benefits for that. It's kind of a no-brainer. It makes sense. But how do we do it? What you've got with Monster Studios is, is you've, you've literally got the product that allows them to do it very easily, very simply, and in a really short space of time. So uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be soaking up all the time and effort and cost. Right. To do so. Uh, they can get the job advert made. Uh, how quickly can a can a, a job advert be made and uh, and published to to Monster Studios? Uh, it's very simple. You you essentially you create your job advert the way you normally would uh, the text based one on Monster, and uh -huh. then you've you've got the Monster Studios app on your phone uh, yeah. that that is uh, connected to your Monster account. Uh, you launch the app, uh, and you know, you will have created a script that's loaded into the app and uh -huh. uh, you can set it up on a tripod. Uh, we, we ship out tripods and, and mm -hmm. kits to yeah. a lot of our customers and uh, they set it up, they read it, and then it, they can post the video directly from the app to that job description. So oh. it's it removes a lot of that manual effort and it removes a lot of the, uh, you know, the procedure around it that I think is overwhelming to a lot of people. They don't know where to start. They don't know if they have the right equipment. Uh, mm -hmm. And then they don't know how to manually attach that video to a job yeah. advertisement. Uh, yeah. So this this solves all those problems and takes the friction out of it. Uh, so you can focus on the content. You can focus on just creating a great experience for the candidates. Fantastic. I should also point out, everyone will have noticed, we are now joined by uh, Chris and Graham. Chris, and good afternoon. You seem to be out in the sunshine. I am. I had to leave the building. The firewall wouldn't let me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! But it, it's yeah. a nice spot to be. Look, uh, this is my oh, gorgeous um, outlook outside mm -hmm. the building. It is very, very nice. So I'm oh. quite happy to be sitting out here. <laughs> Fantastic. So have you heard much of the show so far, Kristen? Nope, not a thing. <laughs> so it's Kristen, been riveting. You, you you've been working you've been working closely with uh, with Alex and the team at Monster to, uh, to 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 make all this happen. Uh, what would you say were the biggest challenges to uh, to, to to getting it uh, to 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 come to market and uh, and and the benefits that are going to be on the other side of all that hard work? Look, I think um, as Alex just mentioned before, the the barriers to adoption is um, the inertia, of getting on camera, yeah. um, trying to. Um, uh, prepare uh, as well. So uh, when when a recruiter has got so many things on their plate already, uh, it's getting to that point of pointing the camera at yourself and, and yeah. talking about the job in a really authentic, natural mm -hmm. way. That would be our biggest challenge um, mm -hmm. uh, about getting this off the ground and um, making it a real reality and uh, to realize the ROI and benefits yeah. of using video along the recruitment process. Yeah. And so so uh, Alex and Kristen, uh, with Monster Studios, uh, how do you think this is going to redefine what people come to expect of a job advert? Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, it's this is an expected medium, right? Mm. So uh, I think that, um, you know, again, we owe it to consumers to uh -huh. provide them with the way that they consume information, right? Mm -hmm. um, so when candidates 
when candidates are telling us that they want something, it's up to us to adapt to that change or we disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think it is an expectation that, uh, you know, we're, we're in early stages here. This is a borderline category creation. Um, yeah. And, you know, I think that we're at the beginning of the adoption gap um, mm -hmm. uh, and we need to cross that gap, obviously. Yeah. But but the consumers are telling us where to go. Right. The candidates yeah. are telling us where to go. And yeah. it's only going to grow and expand from here. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's sorry, I only go. Oh, and I was just going to add to that, um, that the early signs from candidates have been compelling. Yeah. Um, they're, they're wanting more of it. They love the authentic feel. They love to be able to meet the hiring manager or the recruiter face to face yeah. before they even apply. So it gives that candidate a real um, opportunity to benchmark themselves mm -hmm. uh, based on culture or yeah. uh, the hiring manager and give them a, a sense of feel of what it's actually going to be like. And mm -hmm. candidates are loving it. They, they want more of it. So I think it's only a matter of time before yeah. we really see true adoption. I, I, I was in, I was in Dublin last week and the sales director for monster was really excited and was, sh was showing me uh, the, uh, the, the, the monster studios uh, videos that were already appearing on the, uh, on the homepage. Uh, Alex, can you tell us in which countries uh, can, uh, can people advertise uh, video job adverts through Monster right now? Uh, sure. Yes, we are. Um, it's it's in North America, uh, so United States, Canada, UK, France, Netherlands, Germany, Italy, Sweden, Ireland, Belgium, Luxembourg, Switzerland, Austria, Fantastic. Spain, Czech Republic, Finland. <laughs> I mean, it's everywhere. I, I had a whole list that I was reading from there. So yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's everywhere we need to be. That is true. It's really global. It's really exciting. And on the homepage of each each monster uh, homepage on each country, uh, you'll see recommended uh, top videos of the week. Uh, and uh, I, I'm expecting to see that, that they, well, first of all, they look fantastic. Uh, and of course, the more companies start to use video, the more they get inventive and creative and, and find ways of really telling their story through the video. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in, in terms of what you've seen so far, uh, We've got listed at the top there some sort of contenders for our videos of the week. But before we, we, we go on to them, uh, how, how have you been impressed with the quality of, uh, of, of uh, uh, filmmaking from, uh, from uh, Monster Clients? I mean, it's, it's been across the board. But uh, again, we, we have some of our top picks on the home pages because we mm -hmm. follow these very closely. And what's great about it is people are, I think they're starting to get more comfortable with it. They're getting creative. They're, they're yeah. actually excited to be in front of the camera and talking about the job. And that comes through in the video. And that's going to shine through all the way into the candidates who are then applying to those, because I yeah. think that excitement is going to be reflected back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, people are getting more creative and they're, they're, as Kristen mentioned, the authenticity is what's mm -hmm. key there. They're really authentic and it's great okay. to watch. I've just, I've just flipped my screen here. What I'm going to do is, uh, is share some of the, uh, some of the, the, the videos that we have on the top right there. Now, whilst we won't play the whole video, uh, it's, it's great to be able to uh, to, to see exactly what's uh, uh, what's being produced on Monster. Uh, oh, I've clicked on the wrong one. My apologies. <laughs> this one here. Here we go. I'll just make this a bit larger and go to the beginning. Hi, this is Lindsay with Frontline Source Group. Our rapidly growing optometry client in Austin, Texas is in need of a customer technical telephone support representative. If you're interested in providing excellent customer service. So what we can see here, I'll just turn the audio down a little bit. What we can see here with uh, uh, Kristen uh, is this a staffing firm? And uh, I'll pause that there. So th this video, uh, only 31 seconds, but she packs a huge amount of information in there. She's looking directly at the camera. She's got a great background. She's got the best staffing firm uh, uh, logo right behind us, so they've won awards. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, she's really selling uh, the, uh, the the vacancy. And people are often amazed how much you can pack into a short amount of time. If yeah. you're looking directly at the uh, the, the candidate, uh, they're seeing all your micro expressions. They're they're understanding that you're an expert in this field. They are, they, well, they can see that behind her there. Uh, and of course, uh, you're getting across uh, enough of a message to tempt the candidate to want to know more. Sometimes you don't need to uh, you don't need to give the entire job spec. Uh, in an advert, but you're looking to uh, to to tempt the candidate to uh, to find out more, and the video gives a, a much more human uh, uh, element to uh, to that attraction process. 
so w w what would be the things that stood out for you about this this video, Alex? Uh, actually, you, you pointed out some of them. She did a great job standing uh, in front of that backdrop where they've got their awards showing. I just, uh, again, what stands out to me about all the videos we've picked is the authenticity there. Yeah. Um, she does a good job at not really looking like she's reading from a teleprompter. She's practiced this. She's rehearsed it. Um, yeah. So, so I, I, th I think it's uh, a good example, uh, especially from a staffing organization where you're not all you're not the hiring manager. Right. So it's, yeah. you're it, they rely on you to reflect their mm -hmm. company and their job description. So um, I think she did a great job of that. Let's go to another another video here. So there's a vacancy for a Java developer. I'll just go back to the beginning of this video here. Uh, and uh, make this Hello, work. my name is Elise and I'm with Collabra. We have an open job for a Java developer in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is my colleague Ushang and he's about to go into some of the qualifications for the role. So the client requires a Java developer who has got experience working with Hadoop, uh, someone who has worked with uh, web services, Hibernate, and uh, Spring is uh, something what client is looking for. Yeah. Can I just pause that there? Uh, the very fact that you have somebody wandering across in the background Actually, it it reels a, it adds a real authenticity to it. That, I agree. Uh, I, I love that that part of it. Yeah, the person going behind is almost is almost looking and thinking, what on earth is going on in there? Uh, <laughs> but again, what it showcases is a two person video. Uh, you obviously you've got your branding on the wall. Uh, uh, two people really well lit with a you know a glass wall behind them and uh, more conversational because they're speaking with each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, that means that. The pressure is not entirely on one person to deliver the entire video, uh, and uh, and you get more of an impression of uh, the environment you're going to be working in. Agreed. And I, I, what I like about this, they do a good job of looking at the camera, looking at each other, and it gives me the sense of, um, you know, just of their like of teamwork there, right? Mm -hmm. It gives me the sense that they work together, that they enjoy working together, and and hey, I could see myself working with them too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so la last video, let's let's go to this one here. Uh, join our robotics team. So first of all, the very beginning with this video, look at the background. The background That's is That's what there. I love about this one. So, so straight away, you're thinking, I want to know more. Yeah. Uh, so let's, let's just uh, play this. I'm Rachel Palayo, and I'm a recruiter with Southwest Research Institute down in San Antonio, Texas. I'm joined by Cody Porter in our manufacturing robotics technology department. And we are working together to find a new team member. So so yeah, the, the background is is straight away you want to know more about the background. Uh, but uh, at, at the beginning there, the titles underneath their faces tells you exactly who you're looking at. So obviously with video, you're you're in a way you're rehumanizing the recruitment process. But so many times before, candidates have found that whenever they're applying for a job, there's no no person named in the advert. There's no one taking responsibility for the application process. You don't know where your 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 resume, your CV is going to end up. Straight away, they've said who they are and where they are, and uh, you have a much more engaged, uh, uh, you know, l level of understanding as to what's going to happen in the recruitment process. So when you see that uh, uh, straight away, you, you can imagine yourself working there. It's true, and and what I like about this too, and actually all of these, but specifically this one, um, uh -huh. you know, we're hearing from Cody. I, as a candidate almost see that it almost levels the playing field. I, as a candidate, am almost interviewing Cody mm. and seeing how Cody presents himself and seeing what, uh, you know, if there's a fit for me with this person to work under or with that person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I thought that was pretty key. And I love that there's actual robots moving around in the background yeah. also. Yeah. Do you know, you, you, you touch on something really important there. And and I've, I've banged on about this for 20 years or so uh, from a candidate experience point of view is that candidates are interviewing employers all the time whether they like it or not uh, so when when uh, when a candidate reads a vacancy advert that's just text they're trying to understand well what's this company about they're trying to get a you know a handle on uh, is this a place i could be working in uh, and they've already started the decision making process that might lead to accepting an offer uh, Employers often uh, feel as if they're just the what they're, they're the only people doing the choosing, but candidates right. are choosing as well. And right now, unemployment rates in the UK and in the US and, 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 and elsewhere are at the lowest they've been for a long time. Certainly in some sectors, candidates are just impossible to find, which means that they can be much more fussy. So they are interviewing employers. So when, when they're looking at this kind of video information, they're doing that. Uh, the other thing, and uh, 
uh, is it's really important to bear in mind, especially these days, is when when you write a text-based advert, you might talk about your diversity, you might talk about you know the the environment you work in, but it's it's sometimes difficult to do that in a way that doesn't sound as if you're just ticking the box or just saying it for the sake of it. In a video, right. you can literally demonstrate your diversity. You can show that, that you know there's uh, uh, that, that there's a multitude of you know good mix of male and female and people of different backgrounds working in your environment, so that whoever is looking at the video uh, can relate to, uh, to 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 that environment and think, yeah, I could work with these people. Uh, they, they, you know, this looks like not only a good place to work, but people that I could I could get along with. And right. in the work environment that's that's more important now than ever. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, th three great picks. I have to say, uh, these were all uh, from uh, the, uh, the 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 US uh, uh, monster uh, monster uh, website. Uh, but of course, across the monster websites uh, worldwide, we're seeing uh, some uh, some some uh, cracking videos coming up. Uh, you'll see it in Ireland. You'll see it in the UK. You'll see it, as you say, all over Europe. And when when candidates are looking at those, well, sorry. Going back when when other employers and advertisers are looking at those and they can see examples of uh, great videos that they could uh, uh, replicate that they could uh, uh, take inspiration from uh, when when people are thinking about recording their first videos uh, in the same way as actually going back to when I built my first website the first website I did I literally copied it from uh, a, a recruitment agency website somewhere in Encino. Uh, in the States uh, and uh, downloaded it, changed the logos and uploaded it. And this would be 1998, I think. But uh, taking inspiration uh, is a nicer way of, of talking about it. But taking inspiration from what other employers do, what other people do, it kind of lets you know, oh, yeah, we can do it that way. We can talk about the job like this. Right. It might be a one-person video. It might be a two-person. Uh, you might have you know, a great backdrop. So all of those things people can be remembering. So in, in terms of... of, uh, of of coaching and guiding and, and helping your uh, your clients uh, get on board with uh, with putting out their, their first video. Uh, how how is uh, Musta going about that? Uh, well, we've developed a lot of resources, a lot of sample scripts, a lot of sample videos. We mm -hmm. have uh, videos that talk you through tips and tricks. Uh, but I think the biggest, you know, some of that is tactical. Some of that is understanding how to you know talk about your organization and yourself instead of just reading back a job description. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we met with Kristen a fair amount while she's here. And some of the things that we're trying to do is get people just used to being in front of the camera. That's a big one, right? Getting over that hump of creating the videos and painfully watching yourself play it back to yourself. It's never something you have to share, right? But getting used to that, um, it's almost like when you're practicing for a large presentation, they, they teach you to do it in front of a mirror over and over, right? So you're yeah. looking at yourself. Uh, it's the same thing. It's the same concept. And as you, that becomes muscle memory, these become a lot easier to produce, a lot easier to get done. And, and you'll start to just really think about video as uh, an obvious thing that you'll be doing as mm -hmm. you recruit. Um, so yeah. I, I think that's the thing is just stepping out of your comfort zone, not being afraid and just doing it for yourself a few times. Yeah, yeah. People already, uh, people who are using social media, They'll already be seeing themselves right, uh, right. On, on video screens and video calls, webinars like this, uh, and, and of course, people have seen them, the, themselves in photographs for a long, long time. But uh, getting used to how you look uh, and uh, and how other people are perceiving you, in the first instances, can be a surprise. Uh, some people would say a shock, but it's normally a surprise because your entire life you've been looking at a reverse version of yourself in mirrors. Right. Uh, but when you see yourself recorded. Then it's going to be just slightly different, and that mm -hmm. that can jar to an extent. But once you get used to it, and you realise, do you know that's actually how I look? Uh, you can start to you can start to think about, well, what are the things that I can do to make myself look, you know, the best version version right. of me? No one's ever completely happy with how they look, but nope. you can do things like have have uh, uh, you know good lighting, uh, have uh, reasonable audio, uh, and and make sure that you know in a recruitment advert uh, that you've got. Uh, a, a nice clear background, but with maybe some branding, then all of those yeah. things tick the boxes to make sure that the video is going to seem as professional as can be. Uh, and also remembering that, you know, video number one might be a little bit, uh, a little bit rocky, uh, but number two and number three, when you get to video number 10, you're already an expert. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you're recruiting on a regular basis, then you don't get to 10 without doing one, two and three. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. So uh, from from your perspective, any any hints and tips that you can you can give uh, prospective uh, 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 recruitment advertisers? Uh, we kind of just talked through them, but I think it's the biggest thing is uh, know that people expect this. Know there's going to be an ROI on this. Uh, yeah. Know that it takes a little bit of practice. Don't be afraid. Do mm -hmm. it. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Um, I think that's the biggest one. You know, of course, lighting, background, uh, being sure that you project, reading through the script a few times so it doesn't look like you are reading from a teleprompter. Yeah. The teleprompter is there to prompt you, uh, but mm -hmm. not to read back verbatim. Yeah, and remember to look directly into the camera. Yes, yeah. The person on the other end of it. I mean, people in marketing often talk about an audience of one, uh, and in, in, in this instance, it literally is because it's one person on the other end of the the, the, the lens. So if you can if you can somehow engage with them, uh, then uh, it, it really pays dividends. Uh, so I've just noticed that we're we're a bit over time. We're we've gone thirty five minutes. Uh, Alex, can I say thank you very much for joining me? It's been it's been great to have you on. Yeah, uh, quite a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and 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 great to hear about Monster Studios. I, I know that. Uh, the marketplace for candidates, candidates obviously can go anywhere when they're looking for a job. Uh, it's, it's very competitive and this is a great way of, uh, of, of, of attracting candidates and giving candidates more. Uh, and inevitably, uh, you know, it's, it's a competitive market. Other people will be looking to do the same thing. Having broken the seal, if you like, having, uh, uh, you know, got that first mover advantage, I, I really hope that, uh, you know, everyone gets on board and gets, uh, uh, as many job adverts as there can be to be video job adverts. Yes, me, me yeah. too. I, it's it's uh, going to be great to see the growth of this. Fantastic. Well, at that, I'm going to say thank you very much. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, next week, we'll be back again at the same time uh, on Thursday. Uh, we'll have another uh, stellar guest lined up uh, and some more tips and tricks on what you can do to get, uh, get good in video and recruitment and HR. Uh, in the meantime, uh, have a fantastic week and don't melt too much in the heat out there. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Thank you then. Bye-bye.